There are two ventilation systems on the A330A340 aircraft family. The lavatory and galley system and the avionics ventilation system. The lavatory and galley system is completely automatic. Cabin air passes through the lavatory and galley areas and is removed from these areas to overboard through a venturi. The air extraction is performed by differential pressure or by an extraction fan. Note, the extraction fan is controlled by the ventilation controller and runs if ground or when the delta P is less than 1 PSI. There are no controls or indications associated with the lavatory and galley ventilation system. Now let's look at the avionics ventilation system. The avionics ventilation system provides cooling air for the avionics compartment and the flight deck instruments. Let's now look at how the system works. Two cabin fans which blow air to the mixing unit of the air conditioning system are also used for the avionics system as shown. Note: The cabin fans runs continuously as long as the aircraft electrical system is supplied. The recirculation valves will partially close when both packs are off in order to ensure sufficient airflow to the avionics system. On a 34600 a third cabin fan blows air to the mixing unit. All cabin fans run at a variable speed according to air management system demand, except when the airflow selector is set to man. Air blown by the two cabin fans to the avionics equipment is extracted by an extract fan. The extract fan operates continuously as long as the aircraft electrical system is supplied. A section of the ECAM CAB press page displays avionics ventilation system information. The vent and extract indications provide information on the state of the avionics ventilation systems. Normally they remain white. On ground, with engines not running, air blown through the avionics equipment is discharged overboard via an overboard extract valve. In case of extreme hot air temperature, an optional avionics ground cooling unit can be installed. It ensures the cooling of the avionics ventilation air when the aircraft is on ground. The engines are stopped and the ground cool push button switch is in auto position. Note. The ground cooling system is integrated into the avionics ventilation system but operates independently. The ground cooling unit is cooled using the flowing ambient air. The flow of ambient air is drawn by the ground cool fan and then discharged overboard via the ground cooling valve. On the ECAM CAB press page, the ground cool indication gives the state of the avionics ground cooling system. Normally it remains white on ground with all engines running or on a 34600 with engines 2 and 3 running or in flight the ground cooling unit and the fan are stopped the ground cooling valve is closed in addition the overboard extract valve is closed and the air from the avnx equipment is blown through the underflow extract valve under the forward cargo compartment, then overboard through the forward outflow valve. In some failure cases, the override configuration is activated. In this cases the overboard extract valve is partially open. The underflow extract valve is closed. On the ECAM, the valve indication changes to an intermediate position. The avionics equipment ventilation controller, AEVC, controls the avionics ventilation system and sends opening and closing signals to the overboard extract valves and the ground cooling valve. 
the AVNX ventilation overboard extract valve, and the ground cooling valve are located below the forward fuselage. Both valves are inspected during the pre-flight walk around for damage or obstruction. A ventilation panel on the overhead panel contains two push-button switches associated with the ventilation system. During the pre-flight cockpit scan, you should confirm that these switches are in the lights out position. The avionics ventilation system will then operate automatically and require no pilot input. Let's now study a vent extract fault. Look at the indications. A failure message and associated ECAM procedure have appeared on the engine warning display. A fault light is on, on the ventilation panel and the ECAM cab press page has been automatically called to show amber vent indications. These are showing that there is a problem with the extract system. A low extraction airflow is detected through the extract valve. The ECAM actions have now to be performed. In the case of a ventilation extract fault, the procedure is to select the override extract push button switch located on the ventilation panel. When you switch to override, the amber fault light in the extract push button switch goes off and is replaced by the white override light and the blue action line on the engine warning display disappears. On the ECAM cabin pressurization page, note that the ventilation system has been reconfigured, as the extract valve is now partially open to ensure adequate ventilation of the avionics system. This configuration is also used for the avionics smoke procedure.